Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance... Buried in Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. And we're back. Um, well, I say we're back. Welcome back. What was the part where no one showed some work? I don't care. So we'll make we are it work. in the. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Oh, it's a tank. Really, this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. So we're in the Union of uh, Independent Republics now. That was the COG's enemy. The Coalition of Ordered Governments uh, enemy in the uh, Pendulum Wars. I think they specified that the name of that because it just kept going back and forth forever. I can't remember how long it said it lasted. But I think it was like two weeks after the war, the Pendulum Wars ended. Um, e Day happened, uh, Emergence Day, with the, the appearance of the Locust. It's just like it's. What is this? Ticket kiosk. Get those components, Jack. I'm too lazy to go around the counter. How many do I have? 51. Okay, you know what? We can probably upgrade some stuff. Yeah, we're gonna put that on. We're gonna upgrade the cloak. Shock trap. Not that I could already do that, to be honest. Headshot kills. Excuse me. Okay. So. All right. That cloak is going to be super handy, I'm sure. Let's go see Baird before. Where is Baird? He's over there. So obviously we're going to explore a little bit. And since we're in the uh, doomed empire, the rise and collapse of the UIR. Nice. Um, if you play Gears of War Judgment, I think one of the characters in that was uh, one of the characters in the um, he was a member of the UIR. They had some, like, it was part of the peace treaty or something. It's like, hey, it's an officer exchange program or some stupid crap like that. Which, you know, it sounds really like a terrible idea to have the enemy you just defeated um, join up in your ranks. But I guess since everyone was fighting the Locust all of a sudden. Peace times. Um, yeah, since everyone was fighting the Locust. I, I mean, I think it's often been said about humanity's petty little differences in wars that the only thing that's truly going to get us all together, like a, a one big great uniter, is going to be a threat from the outside, whatever that may be. If it happens, who knows? Um, <laughs> it is weird. I didn't expect to get into this kind of talk this early in a special episode like this, but... I don't know. I don't know what's out there. What did, uh, Isaac Clark said? Um, ah, good, you're here. Grab this module. Two off possibilities the table. exist. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. I, I kind of agree with that. It's an awful waste of space. <laughs> I'm playing an action game, and I'm getting into philosophical, de philosophical debates on if yeah, life. Me. I don't exactly have exists. all the time in the world for this. Hijacked enemy explodes on death. 
This seems like a stupid idea. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. I don't really want to. Show him what you got, Jack. Huh. Whoa. You figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't <laughs> last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Okay. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Bear. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. Uh... This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling to die. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Hmm. He's out front, so yeah, let's set up that exit. Oh, I just realized I have the grenade launcher lancer. It's awesome. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor. And they started making deeds. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes. Which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our Fair water enough. supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. They're all dead. Could be nothing. Could be something. No, they're all dead. Check in if you can. All right. All and dead. Now the big quest. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert waits. Mars MK1, do you think they'd have a Mark II? But I guess their uh, technology didn't progress like ours. Or like the COGS on ours. I mean, they did lose the war, so... <laughs> What did Baird say? A small civil war? Not likely. That is a big bullet. I don't know if that's a bomb or a bullet. Alright, well, we got this now. I don't really care about hijacking. So it just needs eight more components and we can recharge the skills faster. No match creed. Okay. Didn't read any of it. <laughs> so what is the claw thing? I don't want to waste ammo, it might be something. Those must be tank shells. What are these? I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me 
me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. <laughs> Runway's through here. Oh, good. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Oh, it's gonna no, be JD. This can't be good. Yep. Oh. I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually. Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened. What I've done. I, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen... Doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on then. Let's hop in that Raven and find some satellites. No, Raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? It's a bad idea. They're okay, here man. too. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. They're here to a keep Kate one. in check, make sure, sure she doesn't turn. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, uh, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out a vest in it. Nope, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. All right, I know why we're here, but where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say let's do it. And make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. <laughs> not here to prove anything. Just here to help. <laughs> As am I. So it nope. appears his decency is rubbing off on me. They are absolutely not here to help. Tadic just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. What did Paddock say they're doing here? Trying to get their water supply back online. What is it? I wish I could actually see what I'm holding. I think oh. we just discovered the problem! Swarm! So let's get in there and clean them out! Oh, 
good for bigger targets, but. Jack, Snipers on high. Shit, they're really dug in up here. <laughs> Not seeing any of the nomads. Not alive, anyway. Don't oh, worry about the master. Took him out. God damn it, there's a lot of them in here. No. like the old Russian machine gun, the uh, DP something. Okay, there's a door down there. Got a fun shot here too, I'm sure. We gotta let her out. I mean, yeah. she sounds a little crazy, but... Trick. Guess that's how you survived. Namira, go get Koi. How can I do any fascist? I'm not really hearing gratitude here. All right, Delta, grab anything useful, then we head out. Okay. Paddock, we just saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right, if we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. Oh, okay. It's on the way, so why not? I'll drive. Meeting that engineer was sort of like experiencing the entire tragedy of Vascar in five minutes. What? Tell me about it. Although she did remind me of her mum. Why you turned out the way you did suddenly makes so much more sense. It's just... No, I don't trust him at all. He, he's... It's a trap that he's here. So that's the way we need to go, so I want to explore it this way and see what's beyond the water tower. If anything. It looks like we have part of a highway? I'm sure that'll go somewhere. That way is the water tower. Support pillars, that seems like a bad idea because that's going to collapse eventually. Okay. Generally appears to be nothing down here.
We've got something right here. Boy, you guys seeing this? Over there. Looks like a bloody space station. It'll be worth checking out. Paddock, oh, bear. Tell us about training facility. We found something. Looks like a, I don't know, a space station or something. We're checking it out. Ah, good. You're near the old cosmonaut training facility. But before you go in, you should know something. I mentioned that the UIR's military attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. But I didn't mention, I led the attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Oh! Naturally. I mean, yeah. Your enemies. What would you expect? I don't know if I like this claw. Just like the Hyperion weapons in the Borderlands series. A weapon that gets more accurate as it fires Paddock, seems like Is there like anything waste. inside this place or not? Yes. The Hammer of Dawn's targeting beacons, as it happens. Oh. I was going to have my people get them for you. But since you're there, you may as well head inside. Wilco. Uh, targeting beacons? For the Hammer of Dawn? UIR tech. Super advanced in some areas, old and busted in others. That looks like a Hammer of Dawn strike. Here's our way in. Should have enough to get the upgrade for it. Now, I do. Nice. So now kills will help me recharge Shaq's abilities, including the cloak. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Mm, I don't like it when there's a little cutscene to it. Paddock, we're in. Okay. I was certain the targeting beacons were inside that facility. But the base commander's virus locked down every building before I could find out. Until your bot overrides that virus, you won't find out either. Hey, don't worry. Jack's got this. Now, why Tell would... Him, buddy. Targeting Look for beacons. a terminal to access in the lobby security office. Why would targeting beacons be in a, uh... In a training facility. There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. Can he not fit through there? Okay, I guess he can't. So they mentioned briefly in the first Gears of War story that the majority of the planet had evacuated to uh, space stations. But then it seems like in Gears of War 2 they just kind of retconned that to, hey, everyone's in Jericho, the last city. Or Jacinto. <laughs> I mean, same principle. Giant walled city. What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Jack, pulse. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if I'll get you to the security office. Should. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Why? Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. So what is he gonna do in there? How are we gonna is he gonna Facilities activating, Delta. See, I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. 
Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while oh, okay. running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I was gonna return it. Open this, Jack. Come on, Jack. I'm waiting on you, buddy. But it's okay. I can't believe Baird seemed to be a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? <laughs> really? Yeah, well, let me put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Did Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Oh, no, Don't hold your breath. It. Between Paddock, Civil War, and the weather, it crawled in anywhere. Yep, he just jinxed it. Yep. Well, you fooled it! Look who's here! You got a scion! And it's got a bastion! Run! Put these assholes down! trying to say. Yeah, this will work. It's gonna be a bad idea to take this because it's gonna slow me down, but whatever. I didn't get this far by making wise decisions. Just decisions. Oh, hard shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? as opposed to what? I mean, I don't know exactly what a soft shield is, so that's what we're... All right, so all the exits are blocked, now what? Jack, activate that crane. Yeah. Right. Oh, 
Well, it. that didn't work. And then we try another one. Oh, it actually okay. That wasn't Jack's fault. You got it. Well, let's hope this one holds. Yeah, dude, like it's my fault. God, he's annoying. All right, Jack. Let's do it again. I mean, seriously, this is like I'm making the decisions on which cranes are gonna hold here or not. Just ugh. Get in there, Jack. Because uh, that's too high, and then we're going to lower this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ticket. Yes, it is. Oh, God. I just want him to stop talking. We can get out this way. They're friendly. Okay. So, what's in here? Bunker. Oh. And components. Okay. You gotta move, buddy. You can't keep walking back and forth like that. Oh, good. Well, at least a few DBs weren't corrupted. They gotta be, I'm sure. Come on, this way. Yeah, I'm gonna have Look to fight out! them on the way back, I'm sure. No, no. Oh, I don't lay on the keyboard. Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead! I like the way he said dead. Hang on, we got a straggler. Oh, I'm sure we'll have more than one. Get on up! Not for long! still works. Is it going to open? But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls in space. Okay, they're active! Hey, no difference to me! Delete these malfunctions! Right, why? This fight's harder, not harder. Drop him! Take them all out from here. Or hijack, apparently hijack. Is not really well. Stop this 
thing. I mean, was this supposed to be hard? I say that, and I'm sure. I'm, oh, okay, yeah, I see them. Swarm's gonna be coming through. There's a cryo in the desert. We gotta pull them together. What the hell? Why isn't this stopping? Brakes might be toast. I don't know. We'll have to discuss that later. Swarm! Take them! Yeah, let's let them attack. Jack to verify the beacons are okay. 
Come on. Move, Jack. Flashbang, buzz kill. Hey, this is pretty a pretty intense fight for um, a side for again a side mission. Are fine. Hope they are. Otherwise, all this will be for nothing. Oh. All right. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. Huh. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <sighs> well. That's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. Jack, need some light in here. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the storm. He's lost enough people. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm not going to be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay yeah. close to me, mate. You're covered. Yep, got yeah. That's it right there. Trust him. Let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, Storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. Oh, no, this is bad. <laughs> we got swarm, people! Get behind those sand glass things! There's oh, poker right! Yeah, tomato, tomato! Poker is down! It's lightning strikes. That's what they are. We gotta deal with those turrets! Alright, I'm trying, you know, but. Some guys in my way. Okay, so those little weird pillar things are what lightning is striking and using the sand. Oh my god, dude. Get out of my way. Hey, come on, that car is ripping us up!
Keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Oh, gee. Storm's died down. Yeah, that now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Nope, something's gonna burst through the door. I gotta see what's in that little room. Oh, apparently nothing. Okay. Coming through, buddies. I mean, listen, the ominous music. Foss, really? Del. When do you get the other side? Okay, I guess it really was nothing. All right, Delta. Let's get that beacon to the skiff. Okay, I think we're going to call this one a video here. Uh, I'll pick right up in just a moment. Um, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.